Hey everyone, we're at the Asus booth at Convitex 2016 now, and we're looking at a new version of the 1080. This is the Strix model, the 1080. So you've already seen the twin frozer one from MSI. You've seen the Founders Edition. This is the Strix. And before getting to that, all this coverage is brought to you by MSI and the new X99A Broadwell E motherboards. So jumping into this thing, uh, first of all, it's got an 8 plus 2 VRM power phase setup. So the phase design should hopefully be a bit better for overclocking, especially with regard to memory, which we ran some limitations with the 1080 Founders Edition. Uh, so 8 plus 2 VRM phases in terms of other custom aspects. The PCB is a custom PCB. It is non-reference, which is a good thing. The power setup, it's the normal 8 pin plus a 6 pin, so it's 8 plus 6. That adds an extra 75 watts of power, puts you probably in the range of 250 to 300 watts total available draw. Of course, then your limitation becomes voltage. So for voltage, we've asked, and it does have a custom V BIOS. I am not sure if that allows extra over voltage in terms of the millivolt amount exactly. We don't know, but it does have a custom V BIOS, so hopefully it allows some extra over voltage. Uh, so extra 6 pin, custom V BIOS, custom PCB. It's it's got a backplate with LEDs in it. That's the part of their Aurora RGB LEDs. And then there's more RGB LEDs here along the card, the top and the bottom. And that pretty much sums up the basics of the card. In terms of cooling, it's got a triple fan setup, part of their Strix model. And it does, as with all the Strix cards, spin down to zero RPM when there's low load or low temperature. The heat pipes on the card are eight millimeter pipes. There's a couple of them I did not count, but you can see a couple of heat pipes running through the system frickin' massive aluminum heatsink on top of the GPU and over here on top of the VRM, the VRAM modules are somewhere in this area which are of course also covered by the alloy uh, heatsink. So that covers the card. In terms of what the card is in, this is, if you're not familiar, the XG Station 2, which is an external graphics enclosure for laptops. It's hooked up to one of the ASUS ROG laptops behind it over here and that's all communicating through the, thund the Thunderbolt protocol. Uh, so that that's pretty much what we've got for you at the ASUS booth at Computex 2016. Links in the description below for more information and check out our other Computex coverage including the MSI Twin Frozer coverage because that was the first one we looked at and we'll be looking at PNY and other vendors in the immediate future. So thank you for watching Patreon link post video. I'll see you all next time.